Robert Schumann fell in love with his teacher's daughter, uh, Clara Wieck, um, who was about nine years younger than he was and had a huge career ahead of her. She was one of the most accomplished young pianists in Europe, perhaps in the world. Uh, and at one point, her father made it very clear to both of them that they were not going to have a future together. Um, and heartbroken, he moved to Vienna where he tried to make a name for himself and establish his own career. Um, it was a miserable time for him. And during that time, he composed a number of pieces that I feel um, directly reflected the way in which he missed Clara and her presence. I, I know he had no ways of c contacting her during that period, so perhaps his music was one way in which he could express his love to her because he knew that she would be able to play the pieces that he composed. Um, for instance, in this piece, there's this opening theme that just seems to come out of thin air. And it, throughout the piece, it, it evolves into different things, but it keeps kind of coming back to it. Um, and it's as if the piece can just keep going on and on, it reflects this sort of state of mind. There are times in which he's clearly desperately yearning for something, and then there are times in which he's remembering things of the past. Um, to spoil the story, he does eventually move back to Leipzig and they do get married and have one of the most um, famous and really important musical marriages of, of uh, I would say, classical music history.